Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. So today we're doing a video on three tips um, for how to reconnect with yourself. So when you're feeling lost and when you're feeling disconnected and like you forgot who you are, and by forgot who you are, I mean you sort of forgot who you are as a soul. So maybe you just got lost in human stuff and in ego and in negativity and overthinking and worry and stress and just being busy in your life. And you sort of, um, you know, you don't necessarily realize that you're disconnected. You're just feeling off. You're not feeling like your best self. You're not feeling high vibe. Um, and then you realize, maybe you realize, hopefully you realize, you become aware. They're like, oh, maybe I'm just disconnected from my truth, from my soul, from my, from my, my true nature, like who I am deep down in essence, in my core, you know, the spiritual being that I am. I'm not feeling that, you know, I'm feeling disconnected from that person. Where did that person go? So these are three very doable and practical things that you can do to, to connect you back to your true spiritual self. This is, these are things that I practice on a regular basis and they work, like they actually help. And these three practices aren't some big revolutionary genius ideas that I came up with. They're very simple practices that you have probably heard of that I'm just going to share with you in case you haven't tried them yet. Um, you know, you can try it and you can see how connected you feel to yourself. So these are just three of many and these are just the three that I want to share with you today. Okay, so the first one that I have, the first tip to reconnect with yourself when you forget who you are and you feel lost and you're not feeling spiritually connected, nature. Okay, nature heals and going into nature will definitely help you connect back to who you are. Now, with regards to nature, there are two things that I usually focus on. So one, um, for me personally, I usually go into the mountains. Like for me, the mountains are just very healing. There's this peaceful energy about it. That's why I live in Colorado. And um, the moment that I take even a drive into the mountains, but especially if I can put my feet on the ground and walk in nature around trees, water, creeks, mountains. I can have a beautiful view, you know, and it's so serene, it's so quiet, it's so peaceful, it's so still. It's, it's that kind of environment that really reconnects me back to my essence because in essence we are peace, we are stillness. We are presence, we're awareness, we're consciousness. And um, nature, that's in essence, that's what it is. And it really reminds you of who you truly are. And it also really helps you to slow down and to tune into your deeper self and um, to be more present, right? To pay attention to, you know, the trees, the beauty, the birds chirping, um, just everything that's going on around you. And because it's nature, it's natural. And so there's no ego there, right? So nature naturally brings you out of ego that you would experience at work around people or in a busy city with all the cars and all the man-made buildings. You go out into nature amongst the trees and animals and it's just pure. It's innocent. It's divine. You know, there's just beauty. There's no judgment. It's just acceptance. You know, it's just purity. So... Um, nature is a really, really powerful way and a really easy way to reconnect. Um, this doesn't have to be some fancy mountains that you go into. It could literally just be like a park where there's trees or there's water, there's a lake. Um, it could even be like around animals. I feel like animals really help us get back in touch with our our purity and our more youthful nature and our more, you know, innocent, divine um free, free spirited side. Um, children as well. Children are also really good at this, but basically just anything that's more natural and organic and untamed, um, and untainted by human ego as well. Um, so yes, so that's the first part about nature and the second one. And oh my God, like I love this so much. And this, this literally helps so much and um i just did this like i just like walked outside of my apartment and i went to take out the garbage and then stop at the mailbox and i realized that it's a full moon and i was like where have i been all day that i don't know that it's a full moon and so i just took in like the beauty of the moon and there's no clouds in the sky and it's just so nice and then um surprisingly i could still see some stars because usually when the moon's out you know you can't see the stars because the light is so bright 
but I was able to see some stars and this is like a thing for me this is a new but every time I look up at the night sky something happens within me there's a shift that happens in my energy to where I'm a what I'm all of a sudden one with the universe I am not kidding you so I don't know if it's just me or if this is like a normal thing for humans if you're truly like tuned in and like you really take a look and like stare at the night sky and to connect with what that is like when you look up at the night sky and you see all the stars it really puts into perspective our like our reality like what is happening here and where we are we're on this small little planet on this small little earth with all of our little small problems and then you look up and you're like this is what i'm a part of i'm a part of this huge universe this expansive never-ending universe it's like I don't know it's it it's one thing to know it to read about it to understand it learn it study about it, whatever but it's another to look at it and to see that like oh yeah this is actually true all of those beautiful stars the galaxy the planets everything that's real and I'm a part of this big huge system you know this universe that um that I'm a part of and I feel so and I don't even want to say like small or insignificant because I don't think that we're small and I don't think that we're insignificant. I think that we're all very special and important in our own way. But it does kind of give perspective to like how small and insignificant we are. Um, and, and really we are as, a, as an ego, like as our, our human selves. Like, you know, we think that our problems are so huge and um, our lives are so hard. And um, even like just when you feel alone, you know, when you're just feeling really disconnected, like literally that's what this practice is for, is when you're feeling really disconnected from your truth and from the universe, from God, like whatever terminology you want to use, but like whenever you're feeling really disconnected from your true essence, I feel like looking at the night sky will like bring you right back home. You know, it will just, it'll just align everything. At least that's what it does for me. So um, if you haven't tried that yet, I would do it. And like, I mean, all you do is, is you're not looking at it um, as in you're, you're like studying it with your mind, like, you know, labeling it like, oh, there's that constellation. Oh, there's that star. Oh, what's that? Oh, look at that. That's so beautiful. You're not making judgments about it. You're not interpreting the night sky. You're literally just looking at it, observing it and taking it in and being, just being with it. And that's the same thing you would do in nature with like the trees and the mountains and everything. Um, you're just kind of like surrendering and you're looking at it and you're just, you're feeling it and you're taking it in through looking at it without judging it or interpreting it. You're just becoming aware of it. It's like when you're becoming aware of your thoughts, you know, the same idea, like through during meditation, it's the same idea. You're just looking at that and you're just taking it in, letting it be and feeling, feeling the connection with it because like we're connected to it. So that is tip number one. Okay, so tip number two for how to reconnect with yourself um, when you're feeling spiritually lost. Very practical thing. Take out a book, a spiritual book, and just, just start reading a book. Read a book. And I have a list of books here that I'm going to show you. But basically, this is so simple. But, you know, you have like spiritual texts, right? Where people have written about our true nature, um, how to connect, um, what what we're about, you know, what, what the purpose of life is, who we are, we are consciousness, all of that. Um, obviously, it's up to your own interpretation. And obviously, read a book that resonates with you on a soul level that is your truth. Um, so pick pick your book, you know, don't just read any random book. But like I have my books that really bring me back home. And like I could literally open it to a page and um, the present moment is as it is always. Can you let it be? From Stillness Speaks by Eckhart Tolle. I open the book and literally if I read like more, like if I read like three pages of this, I would be like, oh my God, yeah, I remember now. I forgot. I forgot, but now I remember. And all I had to do is read a few pages or a few paragraphs and I'm back home. Because that's what these books do. They bring you back home. There are spiritual truths in these books that remind you of who you are. So when you're really, really lost, just take out a book and just start reading a couple pages or paragraphs and you'll, you know, click right back in. So this is one of them, Stillness Speaks by Eckhart Tolle. 
Um, I recommend Eckhart Tolle, like super. So we have The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, popular popular book. We have A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, Awakening to Your Life's Purpose. I highly, highly recommend this book. I, this is like my favorite one from Eckhart, but I recommend all of them. Um, okay, so we have The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. That's another good one. We have Living in the Light. We have Spiritual Growth, Being Your Higher Self. And then we got Neil Donald Walsh, which he's like one of my favorites next to Eckhart Tolle. He has all of the conversations with God's books. Um, he's written like, I don't know, 37 books. And um, so the one that I have read through is Home With God. So I, I took off the from, but it's called um, Home With God in a Life That Never Ends. And God is the universe. You know, it's not like religious God, but it's like God. Um, the all one consciousness um and then we have conversations with god awakening the species book four awaken the species and we have the first one you can start at the first one which is um conversations with god an uncommon dialogue book one uh so any of those books i read or i would recommend or whatever you prefer like whatever's on your list i'm sure you have some spiritual books that you have read that have really caused some sort of an awakening or really made you realize some things and helped you connect to your true essence because this is it's just very helpful you know um when you have it like written down Anyway, so just read a book and you will come right back home. You know, it will really bring you back home. Okay, so the third tip that I have for you for reconnecting with your true spiritual self when you feel really, really lost is something you can do at any moment, anywhere, anytime. And that is just closing your eyes, shutting everything off, okay, shutting your phone off, shutting the TV off, getting away from people, going into a little private, quiet corner somewhere, um, closing your eyes and just reconnecting with you, reconnecting with you. You don't even need anything. You don't necessarily need a book. You don't need the stars, although it's so great. You don't need nature. You just need you. You're missing you. That's the whole problem. It's like you're disconnected from you so how do you connect back with you through you you know and of course you can use nature and books and all these external things to help bring you back home and they're a great help but at the end of the day all you need is you so you would do a little meditation you know you would um close your eyes you would take a couple deep breaths you know calm your nervous system and just really tune into your inner deeper self. Feel your feelings, feel your emotions, whatever wants to come up, let it come up. You know, you're being present. You're observing yourself, you're observing your thoughts. You're trying not to judge yourself. You're trying not to judge your thoughts. You're just simply letting it be. And after about five minutes, all of that anxiety and the busyness of your mind, maybe 10 minutes, depending on how used to you are to meditating, it's going to start to dissipate. It's going to start to fade. All of those thoughts, worries, to-dos, what I got to do, what I should be doing right now that I'm sitting here and impatience, like, oh, I need to get up. I need to, I need to move. No, don't move. Just sit with it. Just sit in the discomfort of... You know, you want to move, but you can't move and it's uncomfortable. Just sit with it. Let it be. Let yourself be. And you will notice that um, that feeling of wanting to move and do and go is, is going to fade. It's going to fade. And then you're just going to feel this calmness. Once all of that goes away, you're going to feel this calmness. And that's when you're going to start to connect with yourself. And it's, it's, you know, it's, you can't explain it. You just, it's, it's a connection to your being, to who you are by just being still in, in the presence and the stillness and the awareness. Like that's, you just connect. It just happens. So, um, I would do that. I don't know, 10 to 20 minutes, depending on 
how disconnected you feel. I would definitely not give up in the beginning if you start to feel that anxiety and like, oh, this isn't working, this isn't working. Just just be patient and let it let that feeling pass because it will pass. You're just not used to it, you know, so it's uncomfortable. Let it pass. Um, and then you'll start to feel that peace. And um, afterward, you're really going to feel really rejuvenated and back to yourself. Um, and to make this extra magical, you can do this in nature, okay? You, you can make this triple magical. You go into nature with a spiritual book, meditate. So you're doing all of it at once if, if you really want to reconnect with yourself. So those are the three practices that I would recommend that you try out whenever you're feeling lost or disconnected from your spiritual self or feeling just meh, you know, just like off or like not in a good place. Um, nature, the stars, night sky, highly recommend. Um, read a spiritual book or some sort of spiritual text and um, meditate, go within. And you can also journal. You, you can add to your meditation by starting to write and journal. Um, if you are interested, I do have a free email course on my website at followyourownrhythm.com um, uh, to reconnect with yourself in four days. And it basically has these practices that it kind of like takes you through each day and it like gets you to actually go do it. So if you are interested in that, you can check that out. I'll leave the link below if you want to sign up for that. And also if you're interested in some more resources on how to you know, reconnect with yourself. I have a whole website um, full of information. I have blog posts. I have free worksheets, guides, um, trainings. Uh, I have online courses. And if you would like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, like through a coaching session, we can also do that. So I will leave all the links below to that. And I wish you the best. And I hope that these practices work for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you later. Bye.